So today we're standing outside of Alderman Edgework's office. We're here to send a silent, resounding message that must be clear to Alderman Burke and the other aldermen who want to support a Blue Lives Matters proposal. In our community, we are tired of our citizens being taken advantage of. We're tired of the community being pushed aside. If you're going to do a Blue Lives Matters ordinance, what about a, a community? What about a, a citizens' lives matters ordinance? What about the folks who work in these communities, who have to live in these communities? Where is their level of protection? Where is the laws that change and protect the kids who are dying in the streets? We are here. We're tired of the back and forth. We're tired of the mixed messages. We want it to be clear. If you're serving in the city government, if you are an alderman, if you are the mayor or any of the mayor's folks, any of the mayor's people, we want you to know that we're not going to stop protesting you. We're not going to stop protesting down at City Hall. We're not going to stop petitioning. We're not going to stop rallying into every last bad politician, every last bureaucrat, every last faith leader, civic leader. Everyone who has been selling our community out is gone. And at some point, if we have to call you out, sing you out by name, we'll do that. We, we don't want to diminish anybody's role who's doing positive action. But Blue Lives Matters is not positive. It's about giving people level of protection that are already protected. Police already have a level of protection. Why do they need any more? We're not hit, we're saying no to Blue Lives Matters, period. One thing I would like to add is that we stand here in unity today in front of Alderman Ed Burke's office because he's the one calling for the Blue Lives Matter proposal. But we're saying that all lives matter, and especially black lives matter, we have to stand up every day of the week, 24 hours a day, and do not compromise our values as community leaders and stand on this particular alderman for proposing such a, 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 a ordinance that's not only going to uh, really have an uh, advantage for police officers, but what about the young African-American males that have been shot and killed for over 100 years? Everybody continues to think that we are there protesting because of what's happening in 2015 or 2016. We have 100 years of police misconduct, excessive force, police brutality, wrongful convictions here in the state of Illinois. It's time out. We must unify as a people and stand strong as ever. Now, no retreat, no surrender, no give up. We say no to the Blue Lives Matter ordinance, and we're standing here today to make, our, make sure our voices are being heard. Thank you. Let me just say this very clearly. This is not an anti-police statement at all. We are just tired of a double standard. We need to have equality on these streets, the same justice that's done for these students and these citizens and these young black men. We need to be held accountable for the police as well. I'm Carolyn Ruff, and I'm with uh, Black Lives Matter Women of Faith. And I agree with these gentlemen. We are sick and tired of these policemen agitating the uh, protesters and then charging the protesters with felony. We are sick and tired of that. And, and also, we seem to think that Mayor Rahm Emanuel needs to put more troops instead of uh, trying to uh, get policemen, which we have to pay to taxpayers. And they're not doing a darn thing for our kids. They're not protecting our kids. Just a young man that just got shot yesterday because he didn't have the proper uniform on. So Rahm Emanuel has blood on his hands. So does that school. Whoever sent this young man back because he didn't have the proper uniform. What's important, proper uniform or education? And we're sick and tired of what's going on in Chicago. The leadership is awful and Mayor, Irama, right. Mayor Rahm Emanuel needs to pack his, his uh, suitcase and leave Chicago. Thank you.